What's going on guys? We're back at the Delta house. If you guys do follow me on Instagram, I've been traveling all week. I just got home, we're jet lagged, but uh, it's like 7.30 right now and overcast in Northern California. I swear to God, when I woke up this morning, I thought it was raining. This is the thing you guys don't see is I had to set this whole kayak up again because all the tweakers out here might steal my stuff. So I gotta unchain the kayak, set this up and uh, I'll meet you guys down in the water. Throw a spinner bait right here, just because it is semi high tide. The tide's going down, so it's uh, it's fish it a little bit. Come on! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Well, maybe we'll fish our way down there. It's <laughs> no point in ruining all this. Boom. Nice little fish right there. Might as well fish it all the way down there because we're just going to burn the, the tide. So we're just going to keep plunking along and uh, I guess we'll just work it down there since the uh, second cast already catching fish. So, do a little bass. And that tide swing is awesome and not an awesome fish but the current's moving real fast and it's just enough water for them just to chill on the grass and they're just hitting it so i mean the tide is something but we're coming out of here fishing low tide high tide middle tide you guys know the deal try to get this spinner bait as close as i can to that grass line It's getting real shallow. I want to make it out towards the current. This whole turn right here is like super grassy and this is where I cut that big old bullfrog so I know there's like no room for a spinnerbait right here. We'll head out to the main channel and uh, do the same old thing. This reel is done. This might be the retirement day for this reel. Let's see if we can bounce a frog off that. Let's see if we can get some action in here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, shallow. Yep. Yep. Knew you're in there. Oh yeah. I think this is the same bass from last week, or all the bass have crooked mouths. I caught this bass last weekend. <laughs> Look at that thing. The crooked mouth bass from the last video. What the heck, man? Unless all these bass are just weird over here. Nice little fish though. Bass look like they're in this dead stuff, so let's drag them. That was a good one. Damn it. Picked a rod tip up. Stupid mistake, man. I don't know why I lifted up the rod tip. Oh, you motherfucker. Oh, I got one. <laughs> Barely even felt this little dude. I think the one I missed could have ate this one. It's always the big ones that you like do stupid stuff with. I have no idea why I lifted up on that rod. Don't like fishing in the middle because I know there's a bunch of striper right here, but those bass are right on that current, that busy stuff. Oh yeah. 
Gotta go get him stuck on something. Stay on there. Stuck on something, boys. Oh, yeah, come here. Heck yeah. Boom. Didn't even feel him. I thought I was stuck on a stick down there. Swallowed that thing as soon as it hit the ground. It's only like a foot deep right here, too. And this fish is on fire. This water is so warm right now. All right. Boom. That's like uh, three ish and a half pound ish. <laughs> three and a half. Let's put you uh, back in your hole. There you go. I switched over to this dark with like a brown on it. These actually do really good out here. I was throwing all red. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's just if the fish is there, they hit, but this has actually been doing really well. See how uh, deep this is. I don't think it's deep enough to punch. I think she's barely floating. Yeah, I think there's enough. enough. Let's see if we can catch one in the front first. Spend my whole day freaking punching. Oh yeah. Oh, you fucking motherfucker. Damn it, fucking break my goddamn rod eye. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, that's a big one. That almost went into my hand. Oh, that's a big one. That would have sucked. Pop that uh, plastic out of there, metal on metal. Now I gotta put it, switch rods. Switch over to the frog rod, a little stiffer on the tip. Switching the rods out, that eye popped out of there. I mean, I go through rods like crazy. I probably shouldn't have yanked on it like that, but switching over the six cents rod. This is my frog rod. This thing's like throwing a baseball bat, so gotta kind of be a little gentle when I'm punching, but uh, we're still gonna rip some lips. You know what I'm talking about? Recap, broke off the rod tip right on this corner. All the current is coming in this side on the opposite side, so all the water is flowing towards the middle right here on this island. So I think I'm gonna throw the spinner bait and punch on this side. And uh, if not, maybe they're hiding out on that side. Who knows? You could punch the Delta all freaking day. crazy and I need to go to Bass Pro Shop and get a new rod for tomorrow and every other weekend for the summer because we are going frog fishing for sure on the Delta and that's gonna happen tomorrow just the wind and everything got so crazy so I thought I'd take you guys and uh, we'll head over to the Bass Pro Shop and uh, do some shopping get a new rod and uh, maybe some other lures and then after Bass Pro Shop if you guys want to hang in there we'll go to the Rusty Portal have some lunch have a beer hang out on the back balcony we'll chat it up and then we'll go fish tomorrow so hang in there See you guys at the Bass Pro Shop. All right, guys, we made it to the Bass Pro Shop in uh, Manteca. This is the closest Bass Pro Shop to my house. It was about like an hour and 15 or something like that to get here. So we're gonna get a new fishing rod because I blew the eye out of that one. And uh, I don't know how to fix rods, so we're just gonna get a new one. And then I uh, get some soft plastic, some crawls, and some mayors. So the trailer for the spinner baits. So hopefully I can get this camera in there, show you guys some stuff, and uh, do a little vloggy stuff in the Bass Pro Shop. So let's get in there. So 
I usually get like a 3 8 ounce spinner bait. The whole rack is gone. Summertime fishing. <laughs> Garcia Vendetta. This is a 7.3 heavy fast. This is all they have in stock. Uh, I've had a fast tip before punching and never really had a problem with it. So we're just gonna grab this one for right now. It gives you a little more action while you're punching. I need to get some uh, pitching hooks because I had like two left in the kayak. What we got? They use pretty big crawls, so we're gonna run a five aught. I remember during COVID, these things were like $10 and you couldn't even find them. All right, let's go buy these things and uh, head over to the bar. God damn, that place is a zoo. You guys would think this is like a 4th of July holiday or something coming up. What, what holiday is coming up? This place is packed. I mean, there is no parking at this Bass Pro Shop. I didn't see anybody this morning fishing. <laughs> so I don't know where these people are going. A lot of people are buying like trout stuff though. Just dump this shit out. All right. So last white spinner bait they had on the rack is the half ounce. And then we bought all the crushed shitty stuff, uh, different color. This is their, I think this is the albino one. Yeah, albino shad. And then we got the blue red pearl. And then got the five aught flipping hook and a, another two ounce weight. We had a game plan when we went to Bass Pro Shop. Always have a game plan when you go to Bass Pro Shop or you end up spending like a thousand dollars in circling the store and you're looking at sunglasses. Maybe I need a new shirt. Maybe I need new pants. Maybe, no, 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 no. You go there, I need hooks, I need a weight, I need some spinnerbait stuff, and get out. So, let's head back to Bethel Island. We're gonna go to the Rusty Porthole. I'm gonna grab a beer and uh, maybe some food, and I'll show you guys the Rusty Porthole. We'll sit out on the balcony, I'll show you some stuff, and we'll call it good for today. Oh yeah, this is the rusty porthole. I can't really film inside because this place is packed right now. I don't know why. Bass Pro Shop's packed, this is packed. Everything's going off right now. The wind's kind of crazy. There are some bass boats out here. Big old trollers coming in at the park. Bass boats coming in. Just a bar on the Delta that I like to come to. Down the street is a sugar barge, but this is kind of like the local hangout. I'm gonna finish this beer, get some food, and I'll catch you guys in the morning for more Delta bass fishing. So, see you guys.